Hi, people. What I started to do before I started to play the video was um, color Annabelle from The Conjuring. And notice how I put different shadows underneath the eyes, the nose, and the mouth with my blue. And then I used um, blue crayon and put those shadows in. And I did light green on the skin and put some yellow on top. So now the skin is finished. And I put brown crayon in her hair and then orange marker on top. So see how these blended colors are working really well with each other? So when I do something like the Cold Stone Creamery ice cream, I don't want to make the entire container pink or red or blue. I want to be able to blend those colors and uh, put different colors up against each other. So maybe I'll do yellow and pink stripes here. And then on the top, I'll do a red marker. Now for the ice cream, I'll probably do crayon. So maybe I'll do birthday cake remix, which will be on the orangey side and maybe yellow side. So here's my yellow and orange crowns. And then if I'm going to have a topping, like a caramel topping, then maybe I'll take my brown marker and put my caramel on top. Okay. If I'm doing the disco ball, if the disco ball is mostly white, I don't want to just do white and leave it alone because then it's going to look like it wasn't colored in. So I can do blues and grays and then make it look like it's lit up. So I'll put that down. Here's my gray. And then I'm going to put white crayon on top of that. If I can find a white, oh, there's a white. And see how those colors blend when I put the white on top? Not bad. And then I'm going to keep going across here. I'm going to keep coloring my other objects. So definitely use crayons and markers together. Um, for things like skin, though, or fur, I would use crayons mostly. Okay? Have fun coloring your background objects and symbols.